Today we are going to continue with part 8 of our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers and today we are going to be talking about add join column annotation. The add join column annotation is used to specify the actual column in the table used for the mapping. This is done at the entity that owns the relationship. So let's see. So when we are talking about user and post, we have user own uh, contains posts or user have so many posts. And when we use mapped by, we are telling that entity not to do the mapping, that the mapping is done at the other side. So in this case, when we have many to one, the mapping is done at this point. And in case of, uh, sorry, when we are talking about as many, yeah. The mapping is not done here because we are saying mapped by is equal to user uh, in the post. So we say the mapping is done at this point. Anywhere you see mapped by, know that the mapping is not done at that point. So in the case of user post relationship, the post owns the relationship. The relationship it automatically creates the user ID column. This column is called the join column. Now let's take a look. So if we drop down the post, we see the user ID at this point has been created automatically for us, and this is called the join column. Make no mistake about it. And if you also go to, to user, we see location ID. This is called the join column. All right, let's get back to work. Similarly, the location user relationship, the location owns the relationship and provides the location ID column. Okay, let's now follow these steps to specify the join column in our application. So in the location field, uh, in the location field of the user entity, add the join column. So in the location field of the user entity at this point, user, so we have this. Now the table does not have a field called location, it has a location ID field. And that is what we are going to say. The join column is not location, but location ID. Uh, name equal to location ID. This is a join, join column. This is a join column, make no mistake about it. Control Shift O on your keyboard. And in the post as well, the join column uh, in this case is user ID name equal to user ID. So I'm sure you understand what the join column means. We are simply saying the name of the column in the table on the underlying table uh, that is used for the mapping is this is the ID. So control shift O, fine. So um, I don't know, I, I think it should be clear to you at this point. So if you look at this place, you have in the classes you define, you have in case of users, you have location here, but in user, in TBL users, you have location ID. And that is what we are saying that location ID is a join column. Although we have location underscore ID, that is the actual name. So that's about the join column uh, because you need to understand how it works. Relaunch it and check the tables in the H2 database, although nothing changed, but let's follow the instruction to relaunch the application and let's see. So again, don't skip any step. Uh, yeah, save everything. If you've come this far, you've done real well because I know many programmers that after some time they give up. Do not give up. That is a principle in programming. Don't just give up. Just continue struggling. You'll get it. If you have challenges, Leave it as a comment, browse about it, let me know, and I'm going to get back to you to help you. So if Tomcat starts, and then we are going to go back to Hate 2 console, uh, let's refresh it, connect, and everything works. So why I like to test is that so that we don't have any problems at a later time. What are we going to discuss next? We are going to move on to part nine, where we are going to be setting up find all and find by ID for all our entities. 
I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and also please leave me a comment, like I share, like and share my video around with your friends, and we see in part nine.